Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. A few days before the game's release, we wanted to talk to the community about everything that will happen after the game's launch. Test Drive is a game with a lot of content, we've been working on it for years, and we know there are high expectations from the community, the fans, and those who have discovered the game through the trailers. It's not a game that will stop living after its release, it's a game we want to keep updating for years. The game will be released on September 12, 2024, and for those with the Gold Edition, early access will be available from September the 5th. We're really stoked to share the content of the first year with you. The game evolves with a seasonal system, so that means there will be new seasons every three months, with major content, live events, new races, new cars of course, and competitive rewards. In the first season, you will finally be able to roam the streets of Hong Kong Island and take part in the solo crown. There are 60 levels available to you, allowing you to climb the ranks and buy the most beautiful cars in the world. There's also a clan progression system with 50 levels, where you can become one of the clan's representatives. Additionally, the solo crown competition opens its doors, allowing you to participate in various events. By participating in these events, you can earn solo points, which helps you progress through the ranks from bronze to silver, from silver to gold, etc. And perhaps even reach the elite of Test Drive Unlimited solo crowned pilots. And maybe even become the solo queen or solo king. And what's more, during the first and second seasons, you'll have access to two solo passes for free. These are simply 25 level passes where you can win a car if you reach the level required. It's very simple. Just play the different races in the game, progress through the game, and you will automatically progress in the solar pass. This will give you access to various upgrades, such as an exclusive car each time, as well as avatar cosmetics, car cosmetics, and everything you'd want in a great game. For Season 2, which drops in December, we have a big surprise, the return to Ibiza. This return to Ibiza is a nod to our fans, who will of course recognize a familiar place. It's an area that has been faithfully reproduced to scale, focusing on Ibiza and its surroundings. You might meet up with a character responsible for organizing the competition between Street and Sharp. In this competition, you will be able to progress faster within the clans. With 20 new levels being unlocked, taking the total from 50 to 70 levels. Of course, this will come with exclusive new rewards, including new clothing stores specialized for Street and Sharp, with their own items. You will also have access to new cars. Two exclusive new cars, along with five editions, we'll call the Celine editions, boosted versions of our models, modified just like car tuners do in the real world. Also, what's super important for us is that this competition takes place in a real-world environment that we recognize. For example, Hong Kong Island, which makes you feel like you're traveling in the first season by recognizing real places. We did the same for Ibiza. You'll find the citadel, its magnificent walls, the incredible sunset. You'll find all the idyllic spots, like Avisa's Cathedral, the marina, the small streets, the annies. They're all waiting there for you. Because what's important in a TDU, and I think in every update we make, is not to lose the DNA. It's important that the player feels immersed in a the world they know, and likewise in Ibiza, you'll also experience a new time cycle, a sunset, a sun with a new time cycle that's absolutely stunning. 
creating a contrast with Hong Kong Island, which is completely different, and takes you to this Mediterranean island with all its defining DNA. This content will offer a different experience just three months after Hong Kong Island drops. After setting the competition between Street and Sharp in Season 2, within a controlled environment, in Season 3 we're going to literally ignite a clan war. So, we'll see a confrontation between these two clans across Hong Kong Island and Ibiza. This clan war will involve different activities that you'll take part in to go up even higher within the clans. There will be another 30 levels unlocked for the occasion, and you'll be able to access new dedicated cosmetics, new cars oriented for street and shop. And of course, this will come with all the usual seasonal content. Live events, daily events, solo pass, and naturally, a solo crown competition. To wrap up year one, you will find in season four an experience you've all been waiting for, and something you've all experienced within TDU, that deserves its place and has made its name. The return of the casino. The casino comes with 50 levels of progression, poker, slot machines, exclusive avatar cosmetics, and car cosmetics. Of course, it's a TDU casino, so you can win cars. So we've shown you the content planned for the first year. Obviously we want to keep the game alive for a long time, so we have plenty of ideas and things we want to add to Test Drive that are still under consideration and already in preparation. Yes, we know that real estate is something highly demanded by the community. It was something present in TDU too, where you could buy houses, apartments and even yachts within the game and own your own property. In Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown you have your hotel room, but it's not really your property. This is something players loved in TDU too, so it's something that requires serious consideration. I don't think we should just repeat what was done in TDU too, because in the end we all had our house, but we didn't share it much because everyone started in their own house and then went free riding. It was a bit of a solo experience, even though it was very cool. It's still a concept we need to evolve, but of course it's something that marked TDU's history. And we're definitely going to work on this for the future of Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. There are many topics that pop up for Test Drive Unlimited, like motorcycles, which were in the previous TDU games. At KT Racing, we have experience with motorcycle games. We know how to make road bikes, and we know how to make motocross bikes. So, obviously we want to bring them to Hong Kong. That's a given. This is pretty big content here, and it will come in the following seasons. But there are also a lot of improvements we'll be making before that. For example, from the demo feedback, we've noticed issues with steering wheel management from the cockpit view, such as filtering issues and the rotation angles not matching those of a physical steering wheel. That's a shame, but these updates will come very quickly within the first year on TDU. We won't wait for year two or three to fix this. So now you know more about what's coming to Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. I look forward to seeing you on September 12th or September 5th for those with the Gold Edition for the game's release. We can't wait to offer you this new TDU experience.